Let's decompose distinct irreducible quadratic factors. And remember that an irreducible quadratic factor is one that doesn't factor any further. You cannot get it smaller than the quadratic without going into either irrational or imaginary numbers. And so we're going to start with our first problem just to show the example. We're going to get 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, and we're going to divide that by x times x squared plus 2. So notice that this factor, that doesn't go any smaller. We cannot make that, we cannot factor that over integers and get any results. And it leads to a problem, because just like before, we're going to break this up into two pieces since there's two factors, and we're going to get something over x plus something over x squared plus 2. But now we've got a problem. This isn't a linear, so I can't just put a b up here. If I do, I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to have enough information, and my result isn't going to work. Instead, I'm going to start at 1 less than the number of x's, so I'm going to have an x up here, and that's going to give me a bx, and I need to account for a constant on top. So I need it to be a proper fraction, or proper rational, and I need it to be exactly 1 less than. So this is an x squared, it's going to have an x on top. So whatever this power is on bottom, inside of parentheses, tells me how, how, many very, how many unknowns I need on top. A square needs two. But now that I've done this, I'm ready for the same step as before. We multiply by x times x squared plus two, which is going to give me the three x squared plus five x minus two, since everything divides out there equals a times x squared plus 2 plus bx plus c times x. <coughs> so now all I need to do is distribute. So 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 is equal to ax squared plus 2a plus bx squared plus cx. And if you're looking at this, notice that this is already working out very nicely for us. So we're going to start with our x squareds. That's an a plus a b is equal to 3. For our x's, we get c equals 5, and that's it, which is really nice. We're done already. And for our constants, we get 2a equals a minus 2. So notice how nicely this worked out for us. a plus b is 3, we can't do anything much with yet, but c equals 5, we can, and 2a equals minus 2 just means that a is equal to a negative 1. So then we get negative 1 plus b equals 3, add 1 to both sides, and b is 4. So a is minus 1, b is 4, and c is 5. We'll come back up here and just feed the pieces in with what we found. So we get minus 1 over x plus 4x plus 5 over x squared plus 2, and we have decomposed our original problem. So it works the same, but remember, we just have these extra pieces on top to worry about. You don't just have one unknown, you have two.